السلام علیکم جی آیا نو پخیر راغل لے نی ہاو چونے شمے وش ملے او ہائی گزائم از گوٹن مارگن Previous, hola, boyo, hi hugs and hellos and a very amazing khush amadi to everyone who's tuned into PT World and Awati World this morning alongside the very pink Maha Magdoom and a bit of red and a bit of white Shazad Khan. And hello so Maha, how are you? Hello Shazad, I'm We're fine. Matching. I've had a very stressful start to the day. Why? Because when I was driving here, I saw a little dog who had broken his paw. So I called the HWO people, yeah. Animal uh, Rescue, and Sunny picked up. So they're going to do that. So I was a little bit late because of that. And then I've been having, you know, these earpiece issues. Like I haven't been able to get a proper earpiece. So I'm just going to be struggling a little bit. So uh, I apologize. So now. I think today we're not going to have a public service <laughs> message. We are going to have a celebrity issue message today. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, for all those people who put in all of those earpieces, please make sure that you clean them because otherwise you'll have to go and see an ENT surgeon or a physician. Exactly. You don't want to catch any diseases or infections. So now let's get started with the top stories for today. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do that first then. U.S. Vice President Michael Richard Pence called on Prime Minister Shahid Khakan Abbasi on the sidelines of the 72nd session of United Nations General Assembly in New York. Okay, Pakistan has called upon Myanmar to take immediate steps to de-escalate the situation and ensure the safety and security of the Muslim population in Rohingya. Pakistan and Saudi Arabia have agreed to work together for achieving economic development and prosperity of the Muslim world. China has launched world's largest ore carrier in the port city Qingdao of China. Apologies, Amy. Pakistan is occupying 14th position with 12 medals, including one gold in men's jiu-jitsu duo show at 5th Asian Indoor and Martial Art Games in Ashgabat. Well, yesterday they were on the 8th position. I don't know whether it's a good news or a bad one. <laughs> this is for the martial arts days. Okay, and finally, Pakistan's team training camp is underway at Gaddafi Stadium, Lahore, ahead of the test series against Sri Lanka, scheduled to be held in UAE. Great. So good luck to Pakistan team and all of them are playing at the Olympics or the championships of any sporting events across the world. Exactly, but please make sure that tomorrow if we are going to read the news, we should actually be on the first or the second or the third position, not on the 20th now. No, but you know, those table boards always, uh, it's different because diff we sometimes we may not have people competing in certain exactly. sports, so you cannot always be at That's the top. That's why I'm saying that, you know, tomorrow. So for today, so I think demanding. we are going to perform a bit better. But other than that, let's take a listen towards our public service message and Maha's going to do the honors. Oh, am I? <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm doing the public service message. As I mentioned in the beginning of the uh, show that um, I saw an injured animal today, um, it is our duty to make sure that anyone who is in a weaker position or may not have the actual resources to look after themselves or to, you know, get adequate uh, assistance, please do try and help them if you can. There are multiple organizations and systems in place where you can call the police, you can call the emergency services, you can even call people you know, like Sunny who's created this uh, animal welfare organization, yes. um, you know, because they literally are for free looking after things within our society and community and it's, it's good to help them. And I think it is a great initiative too because people I think these days don't even show any mercy to all of those dead animals on the roads, they just pass by. So I mean who's going to come and pick them up anyway, so please show some mercy. I yeah think. exactly, so um, that's our public service message and now we have a very um, we have a very easy show today. Yeah, as well. it is, it's it a is very is informative show, which you can take things and implement them. Yeah, it is very easy for us, but I don't know whether somebody uh, for being on uh, in the hot chair, uh, whether it's seat? going to be yeah, whether it's going to be easy for them or not. Okay. Because the questions we pose at times get difficult. Yeah, like yesterday mm. when we were doing a show and the other person actually was like, oh well, this is a very difficult question, but let me think about it for a minute. So but these are the things which do occur. Yeah, absolutely, they do occur. But yeah. the thing is, if you're an expert, then you should kind of know. 
All right, but now let's let's yes. talk about it. Let's get down to it. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be discussing various issues. Yes. First of all, let's get started with when women get pregnant, they do get their skin issues, they do get, I think, acne or pigmentation, which I'm not sure of. So, we'll so be discussing that. Yeah, this, uh, so just that. There's multiple things that happen to you when you get pregnant. I've seen enough of my friends and family, like... You know, yeah, all your vitamins are being drained and yeah. sucked out of you. Like, literally, the life is Well, being I never got the chance to be pregnant, so, you yeah. know, I can't really say much about it. You never know what future <laughs> medicine holds. Yeah. So, 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 yes. so the only thing I know about is hair fall, so we will yes. definitely be discussing that. And yes. these PRP therapies, I think that's what mm. they call They are getting very famous these days. Mm. They take out your blood, and then, you know, plasma enrichment takes place, and then they yeah. put it back into you. Mm. And then they say that, you know, a lesser hair fall, all the hair fall stops. Well, we'll definitely have to discuss about that. Then we'll mm. talk about transplant, mm -hmm. hair transplant, and the newer technologies being introduced. And what you know, and how is this, what are the safe methods, especially if you are um, expecting or if you're about to give birth or if you are trying to conceive. You know, are these um, treatments good for you? How yes. much time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so even and even post birth. Well, so what women actually yes, have to face is that you, they obviously get fat. So when they're like they losing gain weight, weight yes. well, what happens is that the skin actually. Stretches. To, yeah, yeah, it stretches or probably just stays there. Yeah, so stretch. now there are these new technologies where they, I don't know, fr frost or what to your, you know, b uh, pockets, yeah. fat pockets, okay. and then you can actually get a slimmer belly as well. Okay, so it's all about the collagen and elasticity. So we're going to ask all these questions and we're going to give you as much information. So oh do you yeah. want to introduce? Yeah, I want to introduce Go her on. because, ladies and gentlemen, one out of the ten certified skin specialist over here in Pakistan, Pakistan. none other than Ms. Dr. Amna Usman. Hello, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Hi, assalamu alaikum. It's uh, really nice to be on the show. Very energetic beginning, right? It's been a long time uh, since we yeah, had Yeah, been you. a long while. I've been busy, busy with my routine. Yes. But it's really nice and a pleasure coming here always. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. So yeah. I'm going to get started with the All right, you get today. started, man. So it's your show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when um, women are expecting... What are the skin issues that they can expect? Yeah, it's a really nice topic, the pregnancy issues. There are many, many, many issues uh, that come across while the woman is pregnant, mm. among uh, the other, many other issues which she's having uh, with her health. Mm. Uh, like for particularly for the skin and hair and her body, mm. everything is involved. So under the hormones, uh, first of all, the, the patient can have the melasma, the, the biggest mm. problem of uh, maybe the Asian skin type mm. when they get pregnant. So under the, uh, the, the hormones they are developing in their body, mm. they tend to get the pigmentation on their face, right? Yes. It's uh, really tricky to Lasma. treat that, and it's really bothering the patient. Okay. You know? So this is the biggest problem that patient is concerned with. There are many other, but the patient is concerned with this problem. Uh, so this is a very uh, stubborn sort of issue. Mm. Uh, but there's uh, one thing, if you take good care of your skin while you're pregnant, you take good diet, uh, you take good rest, mm. you, you use good cosmetics, uh, you don't apply any mm, uh, formula creams at night, mm -hmm. and then you protect yourself from the sun, and then you take a healthy diet with proper multivitamin that your gynecologist has prescribed you, mm -hmm. there is less chance that you, uh, you can get the melasma thing, mm -hmm. uh, but still there is a chance. And plus, uh, with multiple pregnancies, the chance of having the pigmentation on your face with the pregnancy, mm -hmm. it always increases. Mm -hmm. uh, then number two issue, this is, this is a very common issue, is uh, hair fall. Yes. Hair fall is very common in pregnancy. Uh, Sometimes the hair gets really better mm. for the women who are taking really good food intake and who, they who are really aware of ta how to take good care of themselves. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for certain women, like in Pakistan, they're very underprivileged people too. Mm. They have multiple pregnancies, no break, no uh, uh, mm. spacing between yeah. the two kids. They're pr getting pregnant every year. Obviously, they're not left with the hair at the end. Mm. The hair, obviously, they need nutrition. Mm. And the nutrition is not in the body of the women, right? It's going along with their multiple pregnancies. So hair fall issue is very common. And then coming to the rest of the body, obviously, uh, then there are uh, multiple issues related to the trimesters. Trimester, okay. like we divide a pregnancy into uh, three trimesters. Okay. First yeah. three and we're, not, we're not in a race right now, so let's break <laughs> it down. Let's slow it down so okay. people can take uh, information. All right. So let's talk about the first trimester. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in the first trimester, mm. this is, uh, I've told you, mm. the hair fall issue is very much, mm. and the skin itching. Mm. Uh, the itching gets worse okay. wh while the pregnancy keeps on going. Right. Uh, for and, and the elders in our families tell the women not mm. to scratch. Like if, if it's... 
too much is itching on mm. the body, uh, how can they not scratch? Uh, yeah. But this can be sorted out if you take good care of your skin, obviously. Uh, the hormone part is there. Mm. It's going to be there for the next nine months. Mm. But if you uh, take the diet that doesn't make your body dry, uh, like the coffee and the cola drinks and anything that yeah. makes you urinate more, mm. obviously it's going to dry your skin more and, and going to bring the mm. itching factor a lot. Mm. All right. And if you wear the reshmi cloth, yeah. All right, so, so in pregnancy, uh, so I'm just uh, taking all the all issues and then how you can prevent it and all also uh, addressing all the social norms where, yeah. you Excellent. know, um, you usually face. Uh, so obviously the peep, the, the lady uh, complains of scratch yeah. and the, the mother or the mother-in-law and the, the people around the tab, no, don't, don't scratch because you're going to have the stretch marks. Mm. Uh, so let me tell you a few things that can help you avoid the scratching and avoid the itching. Mm. If you don't wear, uh, just wear the cotton clothes mm. or the mal mal. And if you if you're pregnant in the winters, mm. so you can wear a cotton cloth underneath, and then you can wear the woolen uh, okay. Okay, stuff and over it. <coughs> even though that we are talking about the first trimester, but there's one thing which I just recall, and that mm. is that stretch marks are a very common phenomenon for all those people who go to the gym as well. Yeah, it's so true. So we'll it's definitely true. continue with the trimesters, See, but before we we will, I, I I'm going to come uh, uh, part by part to all the issues. So obviously uh, we're talking of the itching issue. How you can prevent is uh, avoid antibacterial soaps okay. uh, because antibacterial soaps use it uh, makes your skin really dry and cracky. Okay. And obviously when it's dry and cracky, you scratch and then it gets you know aggressive all yeah. the times. And then avoiding those drinks that uh, makes you urinate you more because it's yeah. going to dehydrate your body. Mm. And obviously dehydration means the dry body, dry lips, everything. Mm. Don't uh, wear unnecessary jewelry and say no to artificial jewelry, at least in pregnancy. Mm. Uh, don't uh, apply too much of the deodorants and perfumes and every anything like that. And no embroidered clothes, right? Okay. Because the embroidery is sometimes you know, really irritating the mm. skin. Yeah, All right, and the, and the stress increases the itching factor too. Mm. So you need to relax and you know take a good sleep, mm. uh, plenty of fluids, plenty of fruits and vegetables. So the core so reason behind mm -hmm. is dryness. Yes, dryness. And and if you're uh, pregnant in winters, obviously, so avoid going to very close to the heaters and gas heaters. And then people say that we have had the. Uh, air uh, cooling system or air warming system. Obviously, anything that is causing heat in the area, this is going to bring the dryness on your skin. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the primary uh, the primary issue in the pregnancy starts with the itching. The the thing you're talking about the stretch marks. Stretch marks is the gift of two things. One is itching. Obviously, you scratch and then you you know uh, damage your skin via your nails. And the number two is uh, your body expands. Mm. Your new skin grows when your body is expanding. Okay. Or when, you, when it regresses again, mm. the new skin that has grown into it, that is different in color mm. yeah. as you compare the rest of the skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're going in the gym, more obviously, <laughs> so it, white. It's, yeah. it's whiter, yeah. yeah. It's whiter and younger. All right, more <laughs> collagen, more younger. Not the old one. Yeah, the older one, yeah. 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 So he's more concerned with the oh yeah. Uh, yeah, the pigmentary issue is all over, all, all yeah. over the body too. Okay. And uh, obviously, when you same when you go to the gym, uh, if you're overweight and you reduces the weight, obviously the new skin that has grown into your uh, so actual that body size. Into a stretch mark. Stretch marks, but the okay. coming to the stretch mark treatment is treatable. Uh, for the stretch marks, I would like to uh, recommend all the viewers who are watching us that uh, there are stretch marks, really good creams available in the market. If you start using them from the three months of your pregnancy, you're going to have less chance of uh, developing stretch marks right. and you're going to uh, have, uh, you know, getting rid of them okay. easily. Okay, no, but this is where the debate w uh, comes in, is that um, a lot of women, after they've had children, they use all these creams, etc., but it hasn't helped the stretch marks. You know, there's also this, uh, that cocoa butter or coconut cream, that kind of stuff, helps stretch marks. You know, all these different uh, yeah, that's what they information, say. yeah. But yeah, actually, actually, what happens is uh, oiling we, skin is we, uh, we apply all the over-the-counter available creams. Okay. We don't get it prescribed from the doctor. Okay. If you, uh, when you're pregnant, mm. you start visiting your gynecologist. Why don't you start visiting your dermatologist as well, okay. so that you don't develop the pigmentation, so so that you don't have the skin issues. Okay. Uh, you know the. But since the people consider is a part of pregnancy, so mm. they they're not bothered. Okay. All right. So they, they what they do is they just buy the over-the-counter product and start using them. They might can reduce the chance of having stretch marks, but obviously not can get rid of them. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if, you were ha if you're having a chance of uh, having like 100% stretch marks and you apply those creams, so maybe you can have 25% uh, stretch marks and you can avoid those 75% stretch marks on your body. Okay, that but looks stretch awful. marks can only be treated by creams? Or no, there no, no, no. There, there are many other treatment options available. And plus, uh, regarding the cream, the cocoa butter is just there 
to give your skin a good moisturization. Okay, just or when it comes to the, yeah, when it comes to the treatment of stretch marks and avoiding it, the silicone creams works much better. Okay. All right, okay. and. Uh, <coughs> Coming to the treatment, it's it's a bigger issue for the community. Obviously, the the, the hair, mm -hmm. the girl get get married like in 18, 19 years, mm -hmm. and in 20 years she's full of stretch marks everywhere mm -hmm. on the body. That looks yeah. awful. Yeah. So it's a cosmetic issue as well. Exactly. Imagine so if I'm going to the gym and I make six pack abs and I've got and there stretch, is stretch marks. marks. Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. Can't so even I take off a shirt at the beach. No, but, <laughs> but the thing is, you're doing it for over. yourself as well, right? And you should also own all your pores. I'll just probably put on a tan cream okay. so that all the skin looks the same. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> could do that. There's cover up. So, no, stretch marks are treatable. Okay. All right, you can treat it easily. <coughs> uh, there are many treatment options available, like right? uh, starting from a very good sort of mesotherapy treatments available in the market. Then there are microneedling devices with RF. Uh, I don't know if people will understand uh, these. Uh, we do because we've been know? having shows on it. Yeah, maybe if, if you don't uh, understand what I'm saying, you can, you know, text me over my Facebook page or, or write me on my email. I can explain it further. Yeah. Or if you join my Facebook page like do with the name of Dr. Amna, so obviously you c you're going to have a, you know, better knowledge of what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And we will also visit her in the clinic. Yeah, exactly. And we will also be sharing all this information with you on the show. And we definitely and have pictures as well. But now yeah. let's move on to what's the second trimester. Uh, okay, in the, the, the second trimester is comparatively easier for okay. the patient, all right, because the body gets used to of the uh, the new thing in the body, <laughs> and uh, it doesn't, you know, <laughs> yeah. And uh, second second trimester is fairly easy enough, but obviously for the melasma, the pigmentation of the skin, mm. obviously it can increase in second trimester, third trimester, okay. multiple pregnancies, you know. It okay, one thing we on. missed, uh, we uh, which is not mentioned, and I think this is something that everyone cares about, is the hair fall, and we mentioned that it happens at. Uh, which trimester does that happen the most? Uh, in like, or in general? If, just if, in it's general. if it's the first pregnancy, then you're going to have the, yeah, and if you have good body reserves, then mm. you're going to have the hair fall starting from second trimester, third trimester. Oh, okay. Uh, but you f if you're having multiple pregnancies, you don't have reserves in mm. your body. Uh, you're going to have hair fall all over the year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there is a term called telogen effluvium. So mm. telogen effluvium, I want to describe a little bit, yeah. that if your body is under s any sort of stress, mm any sort of stress like for the for the girls who are giving uh, giving exams only mm -hmm. they tend to have the hair fall issue mm -hmm. so obviously with the pregnancy is a big stress for the body mm -hmm. uh, so if you're having multiple pregnancies without any spacing without any body reserves developed mm -hmm. well in your body you're going to hair uh, you're going to hair hair fall every next pregnancy starting from the first day you're pregnant oh amazing goodness. that is but ladies and gentlemen right now what we're going to do is that we're going to share a trailer from an upcoming movie and the name is Parchi Parchi, uh, to to explain, I think it's one of those. No, it's not really a ticket. Parchi is Parchi is used in multiple meanings over here in Pakistan. For example, so deviant. For, for yeah, for example, if somebody is friends with somebody who's higher up and yeah. he offers him a job or her a job, mm -hmm. that's called a parchi. And then people in Karachi they use it very differently. Okay. So if somebody wants money, they send them a parchi. Okay, give me uh -huh. fifty lakh rupees or ten lakh rupees, and they have to give it then. Okay. So let's uh, take a look at this trailer. तेरे नाम पर्ची है ये यार। पचास लाख, चार दिन। Wait, so that's Pakistani film industry, you know, making its mark, and it's you know, you should support the films. But now, before we go into the second trimester and third trimester, we're going to go for a short break, and when you come back, we're going to give you lots more information because Dr. Amna has lots of information to share. Stay tuned. Good morning. is life, book is hope, and book is life for the future.
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For everyone who just got tuned into PT World, you watch it well this morning alongside the very pink Maham Maktoum and the white and red and black Shazad Khan. Well, you're pink. That's like a, this is not red. This okay, is like I'm colorblind. Okay, yes. okay. So Either you're colorblind or this is faded so since for the all last those time we saw it. So people who can see it red and white, I think that we are on the same page. And for all those people who can see it's it white pink. and pink. Uh, we are on the same page too as well. Yes. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, yes. before going towards the break, we were in discussion with our skin specialist, dermatologist, Dr. Amna Osman, and we were talking about issues of pregnant women related to skin. We mm. touched upon the second trimester, yes. and we are moving on towards the third and to the delivery then. Yes. Yeah, the third trimester is a, is a, is a terrible trimester, obviously. Mm. Uh, the weight gain and many issues, and the stretch marks start from the third, third trimester too. Uh, in the third trimester, it's usually a very different sort of conditions arise, like the blistering diseases uh, tend to increase more, okay. right? Blistering means the, you know, the blister means the separation of the skin, you yes. know? So We've all had blisters yeah. for other reasons. So the blistering diseases tend to occur more in uh, pregnancy, but the one thing is this, there are certain sort of diseases that if you tend to have in the first pregnancy, you're going to have in the rest of the pregnancies mm. and with the increased intensity. Okay. And there are certain uh, diseases that only comes in the first pregnancy and then you get immune with those diseases and then they, they never come back in the preceding uh, pregnancies then. And uh, the, the weight gain is a biggest issue and the stretch marks. And sometimes the, the for the patient who have eczema, eczema during pregnancy got worse. Mm. And for some time, uh, the patients having psoriasis, okay. they, they tend to improve during pregnancies. So melasma got worse in the pregnancy and hair fall get worse in the pr uh, last trimester. But eczema gets the better. The dark circles, eczema get worse in the oh pregnancy okay. and psoriasis tend to get improved with the pregnancy. Oh okay, psoriasis. psoriasis. Oh right, yeah. I don't know about yeah, psoriasis. and the dark circles get worse if you're not having a good diet. Okay, and so we, we were discussing this in, in the break, mm. uh, that, mm, that the girls, what they do is when they get pregnant, they get the news of being pregnant, they get the license to start eating. They yeah. think start it's eating, a license. Yeah. And they start okay. eating anything, and then what they do is, instead of taking, I if they've been told that they've got, they've got one child, the two child, three child, they start eating accordingly. <laughs> like first they eat for themselves, second they uh, they take the like for the breakfast, they eat for themselves, yeah. that they eat for the one child or the two or the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to do that, okay? <laughs> Just you know, and then the mm, fast food gets you know. The best and then they wake their husbands midnight, and then they'll be like, "Oh, you know go what? get me chips." Yeah, you can Wait do what you want because you ha you're having his child, so you can wake him up. It's fine. We are having a child. Yeah. Is actually you're not the one who's getting all the nutrients sucked out of you. Your sleep is not getting destroyed. Your bones are not. But you're eating weaker. all day long, anyways. <laughs> I mean, no, but, but I mean, midnight. If you're going to, uh, you know, wa wake your husband up and say, "Oh, go buy me a ten rupee chips pack." What, what is that going to give you? What kind of nutrition Satisfaction are you and happiness. So if, and if you're going the, the, to wake the, up the, the husband must less stress. Yeah, the, the husband must understand that. Yeah. For, for the first day, she has uh, asked you for to bring her chips. Yeah. For the next three months, she's going to ask you the same chips packet for the whole next so three months. Bring them all so together. bring them a big pack mm -hmm. and put them in the room Fourth so that she, they can, whenever they're having the craving, they can, you know, yeah. take out the pack and yeah. start but munching. That's what my point was. Thank you very much for saying or using the word craving that you know even if you have to crave crave for something healthier okay. yeah it's, it's better always to have a healthy food it's always better that you can uh, instead of taking the packet chips and the pre-made pizzas and the pre-made burgers you can have the you know proper protein diet maybe egg and or the, probably uh, fresh ones the chicken made at home. and then uh, yeah probably this trend is getting uh, less in in pakistan as well like all the other developed countries, mm. uh, the, the food available in the market is really super fresh mm. and super healthy. So no matter if, if you can get the same quality in Pakistan from, from any sort of uh, areas, yeah. but you should be sure that you, what you're eating is healthy because mm. uh, the child you're making all depends on your, the, food, the diet you're taking. Yeah. Mm. So people come to me like, um, we're super healthy, we're Patan, we're Kashmiri, and the baby bone is just super weak mm. because probably you have switched your healthy diet to artificial diet. Mm -hmm. So obviously in Pakistan, sometime or the other, uh, it's, uh, 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 you know, pardon me for saying this, mm -hmm. sometime the food that is available in the market, we're not sure of. Mm -hmm. 
what yeah. we're eating, yeah. not even the biggest brands available in the market uh, doesn't make us rely on them uh, because we cannot show off ke the, the, the meat assurance. they have used, yeah. you know, the quality of products, the hygiene. So in pregnancies, you're more, uh, uh, there are more chances of getting you okay. into the infection. And, and, globally okay. pregnant, and globally pregnant women even go to the gym, they work out, yes, and they work their trainers. And, uh, I don't and know why here, they the just sit and eat all day long. That's and then they get this big, they make and then they're worried. <laughs> then they, 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 they get this big, and then they're worried that how to reduce this weight. Mm, uh, since uh, the, the pregnancy doesn't mean that you've got all the license to eat, you can just eat a little bit more from okay. your normal diet, One and you can keep on And your on skin will be fine too. Skin will be very well, fine. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that's the thing. So, but I have noticed that there is a lot more uh, information out there. So women have become a lot more educated. And, you know, you are seeing women approach their uh, pregnancies really healthy. My sister-in-law was going for at least an hour walk. At least that's what she's doing every day, you know, up until the end. So, you know, you, it's about you and how you want your kid to be raised. Right. Now, let's move on. Uh, we want to talk about hair loss as well. Yes. Which is something that really is very important. And in our young, early 20s, you know, late teens, early 20s, we take it for granted. Yes. We really take it for granted. Mom's like running around or put some oil on your hair, do this, <sighs> do that. And then you're like, oh, no, no, I'm fine. Put it in all the How I regret all running away. And going and away, then you get to realize. So first of all, the causes of hair fall, then we'll definitely move on towards the treatment. Yes. There are many, many, many causes of hair fall, starting from a very basic cause and of season. seasonal. <laughs> yeah, basic, the season, the the temperature, the water, the shampoo, the cosmetics, the treatments you your hair okay. uh, are used to of taking, and then your diet, then your stress, then the many diseases. Mm. So there are many other. Uh, uh, so first uh, cause that I would like to mention here that's mm. getting really common, the girls and the boys using the hair dryers and the gels to set there for the very minor sort of uh, events. They get the gels done on their hair and then they go for the hair dryer. Uh, they damage the keratin of the hair mm. and make the hair for more. Okay. All right. Uh, apart from all those major issues, this is a very big issue well too. You should be thankful because you are the ones who actually talk about that. So, uh, like we're okay <laughs> with it. <laughs> like obviously, we, we we tend to uh, we uh, we would appreciate the patient having the normal hair and healthy hair mm. very nice. uh, instead of you know asking them to be bald first and get <laughs> you know the yeah. transplant from us done. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but it's always um, mm, nicer to be precaution mm. to to having a precautions to uh, let your hair okay. grow naturally. Uh, instead of having the artificial treatment, then obviously. Okay. okay, now the thing is, that's, you know, for those that are lucky that, oh, have been sensible and responsible with their diets and hair and, you know, all these treatments and having their vitamins, oiling and all these things. Yes. Put them aside. We're not talking about them. They're we fine. We We're talking already. about the ones who yeah. didn't do yeah. it. So now for them, what treatments are there? Because recently we've been talking about, we've been hearing a lot about this PRP and Scarlet and all these things. Like what? Okay, well, the, well, the scarlet is not for hair it's just treatment, for okay? It's, it's for the skin. Okay. And uh, for the hair, we have many treatments, like starting from the PRP. PRP is a really ge uh, good treatment. It's uh, really getting fame in the world, and there are many, many hundred million thousands of literature available in the mm. on the authentic side, mm. and really good results with PRP. We do it, and we see really magical results with PRP. Mm. Uh, PRP is a little costi costly treatment, number one. Number two is uh, uh, that you have to have it regularly for a certain period of time, and then you need to maintain it if the, uh, if the, uh, if the problem persists. Mm. And PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma therapy. We draw a blood from the patient itself, mm. and um, we, uh, we prepare it by certain procedure that is, you know, You uh, put it in that thing which turns yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for centrifuge, it, we, centrifuge we add certain it. activators. Then we, we add certain more ingredients, maybe with biotin and stem cells and many other treatments that are, that, that are option available in the market. Mm. So it and all depends on how much money you're spending on your PRP. Um, actually, for the PRP, PRP is not that expensive, but okay. uh, depending on the problem you're having, PRP is just a basic treatment. You is can it just for hair? It, no, it's for it's used for many other treatments, like for the, uh, specifically it's very famous like with, the, with, the, with the name of Vampire Facelift. Yeah. It's done with a PRP treatment. For the dark circles, it's a really good result. But with actually, the, PRP. the research I did on PRP was before people started using it on their face, athletes used to use it when they yes. had injuries on PRP, their uh, PRP has been used in the, in, the, in the world, actually. It's been used for the orthopedics. It's, it's been used in the dentistry. It's been used in the eye surgeries. Mm. So anywhere that the, where the healing is required and the vascularity is required, PRP is being used. Wow. This is this is the reason we're using it on the skin. 
Uh, but what about the hair? Now, how does it work for the hair? Because we, I mean, we have a concept because we have shows on it for the skin. Yeah. But how does PRP work for the hair? So it does by two, three mechanisms. Okay. Like one, increasing the vascularity, and number two, well, obviously the vascularity is increased, the blood flow is increased, okay. and or normal supply of the multivitamins and stuff yeah. is increased mm. on the hair, on the scalp. Mm. And uh, number two, by increasing the growth factors. So okay. then, uh, so right. then, two more things. Mm. Okay. So for uh, somebody who's actually losing hair mm. and they get PRP, so the hair fall stops. Oh, what happens? What happens? Or, yeah. Yeah. For the PRP, the hair fall stops. The hair regrowth starts. Uh, the hair fall hair stops. Hair regrowth stops. Yes. All right. Uh, right after PRP, you tend to have a little bit increased hair fall. <laughs> so you don't get worried with that because yeah. when the with the injections, a little trauma of the skin has happened. All right. So once it's done. The hair fall has, con has control. And then how yeah. many sessions do you have to go for? Yeah, it, then, then it actually depends on the problem of the patient. Okay. Mm -hmm. But roughly only PRP every two weeks. If you want to combine with some other treatment for the hair, like for the androgenic alopecia, we for the men alopecia, we treat it differently. For the women alopecia, we treat it differently. Wait, wait, wait. So PRP works for alopecia? Yeah, it oh does. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. well that's, I've never heard that. Excellent. Yeah. So PRP works for alopecia, but alopecia is of many types. You know, yeah, for exactly. certain alopecia, it does work. But for the others, you know, mm. yeah. uh, it doesn't. So uh, the, the frequency for uh, after how much time we can repeat the session depends on the patient's problem. Okay. All right. So now let's move on towards the transplant because uh, with hair yeah. transplant, there are newer technologies. Earlier, like we have seen, I mean, a few of my friends who got transplant, mm. you know, so I can st still see a long scar at the back of their heads as well. But now for all of those people who are getting transplants, there are no scars, there's no nothing. Which technology is it and how do we do it? And also, why have the transplants when you have alternative methods like PRP, which is not And invasive. we do have a few pictures of Dr. Yeah, Amla Skin Care Clinic. So let's take a look at the results as well. So if we can share them, Mr. Producer or Zeb, if you okay. are desperate. Well, we can keep that. talking. Yeah. We can keep talking, yes. All right. Uh, first coming to you. Is that well, what yeah, that? I think they're all doing Yeah, that. why PRP and why hair transplant? Mm. That depends on the patient. Okay. So for the hair transplant even, Alhamdulillah, you've been talking about our patients. Our patients are super satisfied because of our selection. That we don't select the patient that we can give results to. All right. So for okay. all those people who can never get results with transplant. Well, look at that. Oh, wow. That's this impressive. Is great. I, I think this is where I am right now on the <laughs> left. <laughs> I probably have to go for it. Is that a PRP or is that a transplant? This is a transplant. Okay. okay. All right. For, uh, we, we select the patient. Mm. Uh, many patients come to us for the PRP treatment and we refuse to do that. However, we, we can just take the money and ask them to get it done. Why you know? do you refuse <laughs> them? Yeah, we refuse them because if a patient gets the PRP done, yeah. like for six or seven sessions, it's yeah. going to cost him a lot higher yeah. than his transplant. PRP results 30 to 40 percent. Hair transplant results 100 okay. percent. PRP results, you need a top up after the treatment. Hair transplant results stay there for the rest of your life. So if you, ah. if so you have to tell the patient according to the budget too. So if you can help them with a the transplant, transplant is a one day procedure. Mm. Okay. And if you get brilliant results with a transplant, why do you want to put the patient into stress of yeah. PRP? You okay, know? you're fine, 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 fine. But if you've gone for the PRP, and you've done all of that, you've gone through a certain amount that the doctors said that you need to go for six sittings and then your hair will be. Then if the hair's back, then why do you have to go back? The hair can never be back if the patient is bald. Uh, the PRP results are variable for variable patient. Like uh. if, if I have to, I don't know if you're having a hair fall issue or not. I am. If I'm taking you as a patient, yeah. I would, I'm going to uh, ask you to go for PRP, okay. just standard PRP treatment. But if, uh, if there are many other patients uh, that we can, I'm like, it's, um, so the it depends the on the decision person. of the treatment mm. depends on the patient option, mm -hmm. the okay. patient decision, the budget, uh, how far he's residing. Because That's we great. have to take in consideration that if a patient is coming from Ansara yeah. and we're working in Istanbul, we can call him after every two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to offer him the transplant one day treatment. You okay. get it. And, 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 talk and talking about transplant, Wonderful. obviously, we will definitely focus on the technology we are using. But they say that if you get a hair transplant, you still have to get a PRP therapy. Uh, for the PRP, for the one, once we're doing the hair transplant, the PRP therapy helps bring the better result for the hair transplant. Okay. Uh, the PRP therapy we use for two reasons. One, to improve the results of the hair transplant. This is usually done during the, the hair transplant. So this is not a, another uh, mess that patient has to come again and get the tray. So once it. you've shown the picture, we have many other pictures on our pa Facebook page. Huh? We have many live videos on the Facebook page, how the, mm, the, the recent technology is yeah. working, how we do the transplant. Mm. Uh, so the PRP during the surgery is done to improve the results of the hair transplant. Okay. And once if the patient is having this much hair, 
and there is no issue of hair falling. Why do we need to do the hair? Okay, and other than that, wh when you said that, you know, we select patients uh, who can actually give us good results as well, or for them. Who get good results. Yeah. yeah. So how do you do that? Is it about the donor area? It's about many things, about the donor, about the recipient area, for how far he's having the patient, uh, the hair fall, the, the cause of the hair, hair fall, the age of the patient, the gender of the patient. So like if the woman is having a hair, tra hair fall, probably there's a very less chance that she has androgenic alopecia, okay. obviously. Uh, so she's having some sort of other issues. So f before addressing the hair, uh, the hair bald area, we need to address that underlying issue as well. Okay. We cannot just take up the patient and do the hair transplant, obviously. How uh, far? You know, so we need to address the underlying issue first, mm. and then we need to do the hair transplant. Mm -hmm. For the hair transplant, so some, some of the people come here and uh, you know complain that we've had the hair transplant for this and we didn't get the results. Uh, that is because of the poor selection of the patient, number mm. one. And number two, if you haven't addressed the underlying issue. Okay. All right? Yeah. So obviously the, the cause, cause is there. The, the, the results so everything's still going to be yeah. there. Okay, that's fabulous. Yeah, but one last thing before we wrap up the show, and that is that technology where, you know, you so cross currently, those. Currently, two technologies are uh, booming in. Uh, one a has already, you know, um, uh, taken up all the surgeries, that is FUE, follicular unit okay. extraction implantation, in which we don't give the incision that has been old. But, uh, you know, this is a really good treatment. Uh, still, for certain amount of patient, we have to uh, do the, the cut treatment for certain amount okay. of patient. And we mm, tell them, for what patient we need to have the cut treatment. But for randomly, 90% of patients are really okay for the FUE treatment. It's a really good treatment. It's a really remarkable treatment in the sense that patient is okay the very next morning. Okay, no stitch, so what is it? no scar. It's just that uh, this is how we uh, plant a bit of the plant flowers. So we take up from one plant mm. and then we put it in another pot. Out. Yeah, so we take a follicle out uh, the advantage of having FUE is that when you take a follicle out, the remaining three, four roots are still in the pocket. All right. They regrow, so the volume generally stays there. We just take a single follicle and then we j inject it. And the follicle we have taken have two or three or four follicles in it. So from one root, maybe three or four or five hair can erupt. Mm. So it's a really good treatment. And the very next day, yeah. Patient is okay. okay. No, Excellent. no uh, post-surgical trauma. No and rest. How nothing. How many at all. years has this one been around for? This has been many years. Okay. Like in, in many years in Pakistan, it's been like four to five years. Uh, that no, but very quickly, I just want you to touch upon this new machine which sucks in your belly and throws it oh, out. It, yeah, it, it, it can help our uh, pr pregnancy patients yeah, too when they are delivered. Yeah. Uh, once you've had a saggy body, patients are really reluctant to go for the surgical procedures. Yeah. So once your body is out, mm. uh, you're trying to make your or uh, rebuild your figure. Yeah. So you can get it done. We can help you with that. Uh, uh, the, the recent technology that is uh, the cool sculpt technology. Okay. All right. Sculpt what it does it. It freezes your fat, okay. uh, then it uh, washes off with the normal mechanism. All okay. right. So is it freezes. It painful? Uh, it's not. It's not that painful. And it's also, it's a I've really comfortable treatment. It's just a little time taking. Um, there are many other treatments too. Like uh, if if patient doesn't want to go for a surgical mm. treatment, this is the one. Mm. And patient has reduced weight, and then there are belly, and then there are love handles, and yeah. then there are certain pockets of the. It's an amazing treatment, amazing results. Mm. At least for one treatment, you can get two inches reduction. Wha All right. right. Okay. Wow. Or uh, it's it's just painless. It's just that you have to come to the clinic. You just keep on watching the television. Dare gantik, you know, dare ganta movie, and well then no. the the treatment is done. No okay. pain. So afterwards. do you have a good movie collection at your clinic? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> We have a good movie and music collection at the clinic. Okay, one last thing before we actually run, run out of time. But I've heard that, P can you use like PRP for the stretch marks as well, people? Have uh, I was reading some article uh, in America. It's not that, that it's a really a good treatment option for the, uh, the stretch marks. Uh, in fact, because these models do something, I know it. Uh, they just mask it. No, no, if no. They, they, if they just hadn't had the treatment. Yeah, they've uh, done something. No, actually, the PRP is not marks. going to improve your stretch marks. Okay. Uh, the treatment that I've told you before, that, that is microneedling RF, that is your mesotherapies and the fraction laser. Apart from all these three, four treatments, none of the treatments okay, are so really but useful. These, okay. The ones that you just mentioned, yes, they would work. Yes, exactly. Excellent. So, guys, that was a really informative show. I'm going to have to rewatch it for, to make notes on the areas I'm interested in. But if you guys want any more information on the clinic or on the show today, do log on to our Facebook fan page. Which is with the name of Walt This Morning. Our Twitter page. Well, This Morning without a G. Our Daily Motion YouTube page. Well, This Morning, Walt well, This Morning. And the repeat is at 5 past 11 p.m. Have a wonderful day. Be good and be safe. Till the next day, 1, 2, 3. Good, good morning. morning. Thank you. Thanks.